So uh, I, I love how we have an open and honest uh, discussion about things. We don't agree on a lot with regard to economic policy. But i got to ask you first, what's happening with the Democrats? Because we get this report now. This is from roll call of some of the things that are being said about the president by Democrats, not by Republicans. Uh, there was one negotiation, a House Democratic Caucus meeting. I don't know if you were there, but Representative Shelley Berkeley said that one of the, Republi uh, one of the Democrats there uttered F- the president, another one, Jerry Nadler, who actually happens to be my representative, was overheard saying, we can't trust him, referring to the president. I mean, these are tough words. Well, David, uh, there were some tough meetings in there, but there's three points of why I would support this president's package. First was the failure of leadership. You know, I think both ends of Pennsylvania Avenue have to look upon themselves. Why didn't we vote on this? before the election. I voted against the German three Good times question. because I felt we should take care of this regardless of electoral prospects. Second, Well, hold this on. Before you go on to number two, let's look at each one individually. Why wasn't the vote done before the election? Well, you know, both sides have that problem down here. People are more concerned about holding on to their jobs in Washington than making sure they're doing the right thing. I'm convinced of it. It's why I stood up to the establishment in my party and ran against it in the primary. And look, both sides do this, David. It's why we keep going, throw the Democrats out, the Republicans right. in. Throw the Republicans out, the Democrats in. Neither side has it absolutely right. Heaven forbid we might do a principled compromise. Now, the problem with this compromise is it was one, because action wasn't taken earlier, that to some degree you did give the other side a gun that they could hold to the head of, uh, let's just say it's the working family unemployed unless they got what they wanted. Well, you know what? We can't pull that trigger. I think we could have, in the original stimulus bill, worked with the Republicans and said, you know what? The modeling shows that if we would add in $200 billion of tax cuts, particularly for small businesses that lost, if they had less than 20 people, lost half the unemployed and start stimulating the growth because small businesses create 80 percent of all jobs, we wouldn't be here today. But well, there was a red line drawn that said $800 billion, not a penny more. Look, my degree is in political economy. I didn't get to use it much in the no, Navy. Well, but the modeling did show frankly, we'd be much economists, better off today. I don't hold, I don't